Uh, great to be here. We have some special guests. I've always, for the last 15 years, thanked Dr. Klatz and Goldman, and I'm very honored that Ron Klatz has the uh, foresight to come and hear this lecture. So thanks, everybody. Uh, I know you're not thousands of people, but uh, don't forget this video will probably be going out all over the world. Bla breaking the glycation connection, uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> and if you know anything about me, over the last 15 years, yeah, I've been around that long, I've talked about insulin, heart disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome. I took a break two years ago talking about telomere biology, and that's important in this uh, area as well. That's me. <clears throat> Anti-aging medicine, this is just something I put up. You know, what is it? If you heard Ron Klatz's talk this morning, he brilliantly once again pointed out what anti-aging medicine is kind of updated and uh, this comes a lot of from what he said but a program for prevention treatment reversal of degenerative diseases using lifestyle intervention including diet exercise stress reduction and not to be politically correct prayer I believe in that and the use of nutraceuticals which he put in nutrients pharmaceuticals are important invasive procedures the new 21st century uh, innovations and uh, uh, Nick Delgado, of course, is one of the leaders in the world now on stem cells, and it's here, and the lecture this morning showed that. So stem cells, genetic engineering, and uh, telomere biology, all very, very important aspects of anti-aging. Now, last year in uh, Vegas, I spoke about glucose and glucose toxicity, and, and uh, I'm extending that talk today because glucose uh, is a very toxic substance, Although we're not specifically going to talk about uh, diabetes, obviously if you have a sugar problem, uh, and, and that's why diabetics are, have such a, it's such a degenerative and extensive progressive disease, and I go around now and I say that pretty much everybody has diabetes. I recently interviewed Richard Bernstein, the author of The Diabetes Solution, and I said to him, uh, Dr. Bernstein, you know, it seems like there's a lot of pre-diabetes around. Is it really that common? He said, well, Fred, let me tell you this. If you, someone is born today, chances are when they die, 100% they will have diabetes. It's an epidemic, it's being missed, and it's going to be getting worse. And that's why this lecture is so important. I also talked about a new paradigm in the management of diabetes in December. I have some slides in here about that. I'm going to rush through them because they cut me down to a half hour. Don't ask me why. Probably because Steve Sinatra is going to be talking, following me. Be sure to stay tuned to him. He's a brilliant uh, nutritional cardiologist, and he actually is famous for coming up with the term metabolic cardiology. I came up with a few terms myself. A few years ago, I introduced cardioendocrinology and the glucose heart disease connection. These are the factors in aging that are important. Uh, inflammation and glycation. You know, I've been talking about glycation for years, but I never really said that much about it because I didn't know what to do about it. Now we have nutrients, and I'm going to be introducing a new mineral compound today uh, that's going to break the glycation story right open. And I have someone here already from one of the drug companies interested in glycation and skin products, where well, that's an entire new area, which I'm not going to be uh, really getting into. But the big things are inflammation and the glycation, which I'm talking about now, oxidative stress, are those the real biggies. Okay, let's go to the sugar problem. Now, I want you to realize this. This talk is not only about diabetes. I am of the opinion that most people with a heart problem have an underlying glucose abnormality, and I'm going to show that in some research down the line. Not only that, if you are a normal individual, a non-diabetic, and you eat a piece of apple pie and ice cream, you're going to develop a high blood sugar. If your pancreas and insulin is working properly, you're not going to develop very, very high blood sugar levels but you're going to be doing damage to your body. And that's why we have such a high incidence of cardiovascular disease. So um, forget about that first sentence. Uh, uh, and we'll go on to, because this is covered. Glycation uh, basically uh, creates these ages or advanced glycation end products. And it does so, we say, by this non-enzymatic -enzy reaction, reacting with proteins, lipids, and DNA 
to cause cellular damage. These advanced glycation end products are very, very unstable and they cause cellular damage. They, they are responsible for, get a good picture of me, they are responsible for all of the cell damage, certainly in diabetics, but also in, hold on, let me pose. Send me a copy. Uh, also in, in uh, cellular damage, and as you'll see, uh, part of arteriosclerosis, and this glycation and high glucose and insulin are a big part of the problem why diabetes is not only an endocrine disease, but it's a cardiovascular disease. It's all related to the high sugar levels. Okay, so uh, advanced glycation end products uh, uh, involved in a series of events as a result of glycation, which I just discovered, which just talked about. In diabetes, eye, kidney, cell damage, and vascular disease. This is all pretty much self-explanatory. And how do these ages degrade cell, uh, uh, cellular function? Ability of these covalent cross-linked formations between proteins, also lipids. Keep in mind, you're going to see why glycation is important for arteriosclerosis, and I think it's one of the key factors in accelerating atherosclerosis, which is common in arteriosclerotic vascular disease. So it affects the uh, structure function of the matrix, basement membranes, and, and blood vessel wall components. Other features of advanced glycation end products relates to their interaction with a variety of cell surface age binding receptors. That happens to be another fact. They found receptors to these things, leading to either cellular activation, pro -accident, oxidant, and pro inflammatory events. What you have to realize is that these ages, this glycation, causes a, uh, a, uh, an accelerated oxidative damage and inflammatory process. These are all the toxic things, and if you recall, those are the things that are accelerating, uh, accelerating the aging process and producing an increased risk of degenerative diseases and cardiovascular disease. Uh, the, the pathologic implications, uh, all diabetic complications, uh, eye, nerve, and so on, and advanced arteriosclerosis, which we'll get into. Okay, this is very important because uh, myself as a former cardiac surgeon have seen the ravages of arteriosclerosis. There was a very nice lecture this morning on uh, detecting arteriosclerosis early, something I've de dedicated my life to. And more and more I'm seeing patients in my centers in New York that are coming in. My father had a heart attack at age 50, or I had a coronary calcium score of two or 300. What do I do? I have a high cholesterol, what do I do? And that is an entire preventive program, and that's something that the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine has been on the forefront, because if you heard Ron Klatz this morning, it's all about prevention and, and aggressive therapy.